I chain smoke and I say fuck a lot. But I accept myself for the way I am. I accept you too. Viewer discretion advised. I don't mean to brag, I don't care, but I want you to know, double vaxxed, booster, flu shot, and I'm gonna be honest, I have the shingle shot too. And I still get my period, what? Yes! Oh, Traveled, went to Mexico twice, did shows, meet and greets, never got COVID, clearly, Jesus loves me the most. Seriously. So nice. So nice. Uh. <laughs> on Saturday, February 5th, stand up comedian Heather McDonald collapses on stage in Tempe, Arizona. She went to the hospital after announcing she had been double vaxxed and boosted. And she was told by the doctor that, quote, through the CAT scan, you have a fracture in your skull causing some bleeding on the brain. But it was caused from that. Jesus loves me the most. Seriously. So nice. So nice. Uh. <laughs> I did one joke and I felt so dizzy. You can see my eye. I fell on my eye. Oh, my God. I can I cannot believe this happened. I feel so terrible that they had to tell everyone to leave and then cancel the second show. A Tempe, I will be back. I, I've never ever fainted in my life. I would never assume, nor would I proclaim to know why she fell down and fractured her skull and has brain bleeding. But there is a pattern here because there's another comedian who also announced that they were boosted and supposedly also fell and fractured his skull and died. If you can believe that. Bob Saget's autopsy just came out and the medical examiner said in a statement that Saget's death was accidental. He added that Saget died as a quote, result of blunt head trauma and his injuries were likely quote, incurred from an unwitnessed fall. So I guess that's how he died. If you believe it. And come see me. I'll be doing New York. I'll be doing the city. I'll be doing all around. I'm touring the whole country trying to make people laugh. And so I just got my booster. So I'm, I'm going to keep, uh, I don't know what that's worth because a new variant comes out every 10 minutes. But what the hell? I'm going to go make people laugh. Bob Saget passed away in his Orlando hotel room Sunday morning. The initial autopsy report found no evidence of drug use or foul play. Police say Saget entered his room after 2 a.m. and was due to check out later that morning. But his family was unable to reach him and requested a wellness check. Security found Saget in bed, unresponsive and not breathing. Bob Saget's cause of death has been revealed. In a statement released to ET on Wednesday, the Saget family shared details they've learned from the investigation. The statement explains, quote, the authorities have determined that Bob passed from head trauma. They have concluded that he accidentally hit the back of his head on something, thought nothing of it, and went to sleep. No drugs or alcohol were involved. Now there's one more stand-up comedian I wanted to point out that doesn't really fit this pattern. Well, partially. It's unknown if he actually received the booster, but he did already receive his other two doses. But he didn't die from head trauma, nor did he fall. He had cancer. Now, is it, did you get vaccinated? As you got vaccinated, I right? I did. I just got my second shot. Great. And uh, God, just right after I got it, maybe an hour, I started nauseated. I was feeling sick. Oh. I called the doctor. I go, can it happen that fast? And then I went, oh, wait. I did stop and get White Castle on. The <laughs> so that could have been that. <laughs> Actor and comedian Louis Anderson has died after a battle with blood cancer. Anderson's longtime publicist Glenn Schwartz confirmed the news of his death to People on Friday. The actor died in a Las Vegas hospital where he was undergoing treatments after being diagnosed with diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, which is the most common type of non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Schwartz says that the cause of death was from complications due to the cancer. Now obviously he didn't fall and hit his head. He didn't have brain bleed. He died from complications from diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. But from NIH.gov, lymphadenopathy following COVID-19 vaccination published online May 1, 2021. 
Despite all the benefits and effectiveness of the coronavirus disease 19 vaccines mentioned in recent clinical trials, some post-vaccination side effects, such as lymphadenopathy, LAP, were observed. The median days of LAP presentation after the first and second dosages of COVID-19 vaccination were 12 and 5 days, respectively. Most of the LAP imaging findings related to COVID-19 vaccination, 97%, were seen from first day to four weeks after vaccination. However, LAP remained after five and six weeks of the first and second dosages of COVID-19 vaccination. And it looks like he was just recently diagnosed. Showbiz veteran Louis Anderson has been hospitalized for treatment as he battles cancer. It was confirmed by his publicist on January 18. Three days later, he passed away. I'm not saying that's how he got it. I'm just saying. It's quite a coincidence. Fucking stoned.